Tim Bear for Class Winners Collector Vehicles. And, you know, we've done seat of the pants videos on K vans and trucks in the past. So you might be asking, what am I doing in another Subaru Sambar? The answer is actually pretty simple. We're not going to rehash what we said before. If you want to view it, we'll put a link up. But this is a very special K van. It is a 1991 Subaru Sambar Tri Diaz II Supercharger. That's a lot of names, but the most important thing about it is that it addresses the key shortcoming of most of the K trucks and vans, which is enough horsepower to use it at highway speeds. But the keywords in the name, supercharger, refer to the extra 15 horsepower it gets from its belt-driven supercharger on its electronic fuel-injected engine. The supercharger, it doesn't look like much. It actually, it looks like a 1970s era air injection smog pump driven by basically an alternator belt. It, it's tiny, but what it delivers is 37 and a half percent more horsepower and torque than the normally aspirated sandbars. And that's really important because anybody who's driven a sandbar on a state highway or try to drive it on an interstate knows that it'll do 60 until you hit any kind of incline. Then it starts losing speed. And if you're in Washington State, like we are here at Class Winners, that means you're losing speed a lot. But in this sandbar, well, the supercharger, it, it actually can reach its top speed on an incline in fifth gear, even with its cold AC blowing. So we're actually getting onto a highway right now, and we're in fourth gear, going up an incline, and we'll go into fifth gear. And we're gonna get into the fast lane. And ladies and gentlemen, uphill, we're accelerating. We're past 62, we're now at 110 kilometers per hour. 110 is about 68 miles an hour. So the Sambar Diaz Supercharger, it, it's got long legs in the sense that it has a really high top speed. In fact, it's got the, the legal K maximum top speed of 85 miles an hour. And I, I've actually explored it a few days ago. I had it out in a high speed zone and it'll not only hit that speed, but it'll do it again uphill, accelerating in fifth gear with the air conditioning on full blast. How can you not love that? Now, there is one downside, and that is it hits that top speed of 85 miles an hour at its 7,500 RPM red line, which means right now at you know 105 kilometers an hour, we're just above 5,600 RPMs. And that can send people who are used to being in old American pushrod engine cars, you know, where they shift at like you know 2,500 RPMs. It makes them feel nervous that something's gonna blow up. But keep in mind, that's around the time that in a Acura uh, or another Honda product, uh, the VTEC is kicking in. So in an overhead cam, it, it'll do this for quite some time. The other thing to consider is that when you get hit those kinds of speeds, well, let's talk about side winds. This is a very, very short wheelbase vehicle, and it's tall. So, coming through an area with strong side winds, you're gonna get blown all over the road, potentially at you know, 65, 70, 80 miles an hour. So, keep two hands on the steering wheel. Oh, I'm so glad. 
glad they decided to use a supercharger in this instead of a turbocharger. I mean, there's no lag because it's belt driven, so you're not waiting for the exhaust gases to build up to spin you know, the, the induction. And it pulls from you know, three grand to about 6,500 with that extra power, and you, you just feel it. It, you can actually just get through the gears so quickly and it makes it feel almost sporty. What also makes this Sambar really cool is it has the sun sunroof. Yeah, that's sun sun roof. That must have been trademarked or something. But it's the high roof version with twin glass moon roofs. Now this one it pops up. The back one, you hit it and it slides all the way back. It's just a cool feature. Another thing that's different about this version compared to normal Diaz vans is that this is full-time four-wheel drive. Most of the KV4s, you know, the regular four-wheel drives, they're push-button four-wheel drive. They're on or off. This is always on, and it's very sure-foot. These are just so desirable, and I gotta tell you, if I could pick one K utility, truck, van, whatever, this would be it. It hauls, you can camp in it, and it hauls butt. Yeah, the supercharger is the way to go. <laughs>